Hey y'all, sorry I haven't posted in a while, but as you can probably tell by the title of this video, I got shingles. The last time that I was on this channel, I think it was like a little bit before um, Halloween. And we went on a Disney, we went to Disney World, we went on a Disney cruise, and then we went to Disney World again. Um, that's on my vlog channel, so be sure to check that out. It's on Kiana G Vlogs. Um, I'll leave the name down here if y'all want to see what all we do over there. But um, yeah, I did that, and I think I did a grocery haul. Then life was just life, and life was just crazy between coming back from vacation and then uh, getting the kids acquainted with school and all their extracurricular activities, and then we were out for... Thanksgiving break, so visiting family members, doing all that fun stuff, then getting back acquainted with school again just to be back on winter break. So what all that um, happened, oh, and I wanted to y'all, sorry, so I wanted to y'all, happy new year. I hope that y'all are having an amazing new year so far and plenty of blessings and productivity and awesomeness coming your way this year. And so with the winter break, um, we were getting back acquainted with school. I have so much to talk about. I have so much to catch up on, but let me stay focused on this and then we're gonna roll it back some. But yeah, so, um, the kids are getting back acquainted with school. Yeah, so, um, a little, uh, chit chat about what we did for Christmas. So Christmas was fabulous. Uh, we decorated for Christmas. Um, I had, if you've seen any of my videos from, um, not 2023, but 2022. Those were my Decorate With Me Christmas videos. For some reason, those videos are not on YouTube. I contact YouTube to try to put them back. Um, they're having no luck with putting them back, which sucks because those are my memories. It's like three years, pretty much, of like my cleaning videos and all. They are missing, and I can't get them back on this channel. So what I did was I ended up going to Best Buy, and I got like the little terabyte uh they call it external memory drive or something like that so that's why i'm gonna start putting on the videos because i have when my kids were like younger and it was helping me clean up and i don't have those memories oh and i'm like heartbroken i do have some pictures and all but i don't have those videos because you know i don't know and they say you know be careful what you put on the internet because it always comes back to you i wait for those videos to come back if anybody can find them on the internet please let me know because i can't find them but yeah going forth i'm just gonna have them backed up Cause those are my memories of you know me cleaning and seeing my kids at a certain age and helping me clean up and their little voices like you know just uh just those memories but um yeah going off subject but <laughs> uh i had decorated um last year i had so much fun like going to home depot and walmart and at uh, home goods at home getting christmas decoration and i used those same decorations for decorating um the living room area um it looked so good i'll make sure that i insert some pictures and some videos also of how it looked have some new things we did this year so i went and bought christmas covers christmas comforter sets which were so fun usually when i decorate for christmas i just leave it to like the um guesting hosting area so that's like the kitchen the dining area in the front room but i thought it would be fun to just get some comforter since i had you know a few extra bucks because i was using um decoration from last year so we got them their cute little comforter sets i'm gonna show that and they also had made their own reefs so walmart had little reefs for like five dollars or something like that so i bought a whole bunch of those and i put the bows in them and i put them outside on all the windows but i had some lecture uh, leftovers excuse me so uh we took some ornaments and we put them on there they decorated it the, they decorated it the way they liked it so then like right of over you know their headboard they put their reefs and then they had their cute little um comforter set and uh i'm so happy that i did it it's so cute i put them right back into the little container that they came in the little packaging whatever wrapper <laughs> so that way uh next time it comes around next year i can let them do the same thing and um i brought different sizes because in this house we have the king and there's queens and there's fulls and there's twins so 
maybe next year or well, maybe this Christmas that's coming up I might buy some more and then they have a variety of what cover they want to what comforter set excuse me they want to pick out and they can just decorate it the way that they want to decorate it I think that would be so fun I'm like okay I'm starting to get in the groove of it because I like my room <clears throat> excuse me to look more like a hotel um the wholesale vibe and then the bathroom's like a spa vibe but i can get into the christmas comforter sets like last year i like having uh those i just felt like it it wasn't too much i feel like it was just enough you know and I, I liked it i liked it but yeah so um uh i think that's all i want to say about christmas but yeah that we had a really good christmas i hope that y'all had a fun healthy swell loving amazing christmas y'all i really really do and so, yeah, then we had New Year's Eve, y'all. So for New Year's, usually I see the fireworks. I see other people popping firecrackers. I usually don't do it, but I felt like this year, I just wanted to experience it, especially with the kids. The kids never experienced it either. So we went out and we got some fireworks from the fireworks stands. And they actually wasn't that bad. They had little packages for like the kids' packages with fireworks. Then they had the adults one. I figured that me and my husband could... We got two of the big ones, but I figured me and my husband could really just share them. So, child, <laughs> I thought that my husband really was going to be the one popping a firecracker because he talking this talk like, I popped firecrackers when I was young, you know, blah, 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 me and my cousins and brothers and blah, 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 blah. So, okay, I'm thinking we getting them. And I'm like, yeah, I'm going to pop the firecrackers. Really, I just want to pop one or two, you know. And then he really popped the fireworks. Girl, he was like, he not popping them. He popped a few, but he was like, he wasn't popping them. So I was like, okay, I got to put my big, big girl panties on, you know. So uh, we did the pop rocks, <laughs> the simple ones. We did the sparkle ones. Uh, and I did the smoke bombs. Like, I wasn't afraid to do those because it had a long stem. Now, the ones that go pop, 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 I was really afraid. But good thing the neighbors, they had put on, plenty of the neighbors put on shows. So trust me, my little thing was good for a first little, like, um, getting your toes wet type of situation. Because the neighbors showed up and showed out. Okay, so we were still, still able to enjoy a nice fireworks show. Uh, and then, you know, get our feet wet. Because the kids never pop firecrackers either. So I feel like for, like, you know, maybe in the summertime, uh, June teeth. 4th of July, you know, I'll be able to pop some more too. And that way, um, you know, I can get more experience because child, me and fire, you baby, me and I don't even like candles. Okay, we get wax melts. So I, and, and this is this house, this is our first time having a gas stove. So this is my first time getting into the whole fire type of situation. So, but you know, I'm getting that, I'm getting that. And I want the kids to experience some fun too. And they had a blast to say, we just did the pop rocks, the sparkles, the smoke ones. And then, like I said, my husband lit a few of the little fireworks, but like, they had a good time, so I was happy. Of course, we had our greens and our, who is that? Is that Star? I know Star did not just come open my door while well, I'm trying to do a video. <laughs> hold on one second, y'all, hold on, hold on. All right, I'm back. And so for uh, New Year's, I had to cook uh, cornbread, black eyed peas, greens, chicken, now, of course, I know that this is like all like superstitious tradition type of things. I don't know, but I always make it so y'all know. The cornbread is for gold. I found that out from my sister-in-law. The greens is for money. The black eyed peas is for luck. And the barbecue chicken is just the meat that we eat and it's good. So <laughs> that was dinner. Usually I make that on New Year's Eve and we eat it New Year's Eve and New Year's. I know some people make it on the day of, but I usually make it the day before, but... Yeah, that was New Year's. It was really fun. It was very interesting. It was an adventure. Um, and then, yeah, we're coming up to here. So kids went back to school. They was off for the weekend. They had a three-day weekend because Friday, Saturday, I mean, excuse me, Saturday, Sunday. Then Monday was Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Day. So the kids were out of school. And, um... That's usually the day that usually starts around uh, parade season, Mardi Gras season, too. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. They're, so they were off. Then they didn't have school Tuesday either because of the freeze. They went back Wednesday. Um, um, so around Thursday. All right. Now, this is 
I'm currently doing. <laughs> well, kind of. Okay, so, okay, Thursday. Let me stay on. Let me stay focused. Y'all know how I get. So, Thursday, I don't know. I just had this, like, lump. Um, two lumps on my head. You can kind of see it. I got the filter um because i don't want y'all to really really see it you know it's it's really gross so i got the filter so you can see it but you can't really like see it in detail and depth but um i had the lumps like in that area so i was like oh my gosh I, just what happened that week i did really really good with cleaning like I, i'm dusting clean up on the beds uh baseboards blinds regular cleaning like i'm really getting it in with the cleaning because it's new year fresh start or whatever undecorating i'm doing a lot of stuff so I had this lump. I was like, okay, oh my gosh, I touched something. Aller allergy reaction. Let me take some Benadryl. Can I say that on YouTube? I don't know if I can take Benadryl. But I'm going to say, I'm, I took a hint antihistamine. And I took it like two times. Go to sleep, wake up, still there. So I'm like, okay. Something ain't right. Something ain't right. So I couldn't get to a doctor because that was Saturday. So I couldn't get to a clinic. I guess I could have, but anyway, I went to urgent care. <laughs> when I tell you that PA looked at me and she was like, oh, oh, uh uh, sister, baby, you got shingles. I was like, no, I ain't got no shingles. You know how old I am? I ain't got no shingles. She was like, yes, you do. So I told her the rest of my symptoms. <sighs> Homegirl, I had shingles. And then, like, since it was right around here, she made me go to a ophthalmologist. To make sure that I didn't have shingles in my eyes. So, um, we went there um, around the afternoon. And so, thank goodness we didn't wait till like the last minute to go. Because uh, she said either go to the ophthalmologist or the ER. Y'all know the ER would have charged me an arm and a leg to go just sit in the waiting room. To sit in the, another waiting room. To wait in the room just to see a doctor. <laughs> so... Uh, I was able to call up and get to an ophthalmologist. It wasn't mine, but hey, look, at this point, anybody, not anybody, but you know, an uh, ophthalmologist is better than nobody. So, um, I went to the ophthalmologist and so she goes and she's examining my eyes. And so she said, I don't, I don't have, um, shingles in my eyes. So thank God. Um, but I'm still shocked that I have shingles. Like, I have shingles. Like, uh. I'm too young to have shingles. So I thought. So I go home. Uh, I get the prescription. Um, I don't know if I can say what it is, but it's, it's a prescription. Um, I don't want to get flagged or whatever by YouTube. And so I start taking it. It's a seven-day supply. You got to take it three times uh, a day. So I just was taking it like every eight hours. Um, so I'm doing research, research, research. Like, how could I get it? How could I get it? How could I get it? Like, how could I get it? They say usually, like, you got to be, like, at least, uh, like, what, 70 to get shingles. And, baby, I am far from 70. <laughs> so, I'm trying to figure out what is going on. So, um, oh, I got a closing ring, y'all. I just put this watch on this wide though. But, um, I'm trying to figure it out. So, I'm, oh, wait, is my nice man decent? Hold up, y'all. <laughs> Let me, let me move it a little bit. <laughs> but, uh, so yeah, um, I, but actually also too, while at the ophthalmologist, I found out some more information. So I need to go back to that ophthalmologist and also consult my ophthalmologist. Child, I went to the doctor, opened up a whole nother can of worms, but it's all right. We're going to get it. We're going to get it taken care of. Okay. That's why I need to, you know, go to the doctor and get stuff taking care of but anyway um i was reading online that some individuals in their 20s was getting shingles and someone said that they was a couple of people and that they were in their 20s and pregnant with shingles <clears throat> excuse me so i was kind of a little you know i was i was i was taken aback but i was just shocked at the amount of individuals that had shingles and that was experience that was sharing their experience because it gives you the stereotype of it's a older person um uh, virus or whatever but it's happening and occurring in younger individuals also so i thought that was like pretty interesting too um also to let y'all know when i was younger 
um, I had chicken pox. So, you know, they say if you get chicken pox, the virus still lives in your body and then it can have a uh, reaction as you get older. And I was expecting older, but not just older. So anyway, <laughs> um, I guess I'll tell y'all some of my symptoms, y'all, because I, I don't know absolutely anybody who has shingles. I've heard of shingles, but I don't know anybody who has shingles before. So, um, yeah, uh, like I said, I had like, I had like a little tingling feeling. I don't know. I just brushed it off. Then when I saw the lumps, I really thought it was an allergic reaction. So I took an antihistamine, <clears throat> excuse me, I followed up with the doctors and all. And then also it had like a few little tiny bumps on the lumps. Um, then it started coming out a little bit more. And then it always, but it always stood in this area. So thank God it didn't like spread. I started taking the prescription medicine before it got worse. Cause that's what I heard too. Like if you don't take the prescription medicine, it can get really bad. Also the PA told me that it's only going to stay on one side. So it was only going to be in this area. So, um, yeah, I had that. Then after a while it started, it never really itched. I saw itching. Uh, it, it would hurt though, and I'm gonna say I have a low pain tolerance. Like I always say, I'm allergic to pain because I hate emphasis on hate pain. Like I, oh, I don't like pain. Like I, oof, oof. Just thinking about pain is just giving me pain. Like I don't like pain, so I do have a low pain tolerance. Um, but it was hurting so bad. It was hurting so bad. It was it was bad to where one of the moments it felt like. Someone's like literally drilling or screwing a screw in my head. Cause that's another thing too. I think I, well I did, I have some lumps. Uh, I wanna say in this area, like a little lump about the size of this in my scalp. So I, I really wanna say like this whole area was affected with the shingles. Um, I still have it now, but it's like, what do they call it? Uh, it is crusting now. So that's why I look like that, but um, and, and to give it a good description of how it looks, if you really can't tell from the filter, which I hope you can't, but <laughs> it looks like, uh, I don't know, like if in grade school, y'all ever put like glue on your hand and then just rubbed it and it dried up and you peeled it. That's kind of the best way I can describe how it looks right now. Um, and it go through so many phases. So then it, uh, I was sharing updates with my family members too, because like I said, I'm the only one that I know who had shingles. I don't know if they knew anyone. I'm trying to give them as much information as I can. I pray that they do not get it. I pray that you do not get it. Oh my gosh, like it is, ooh. But you know, just in case, I just wanna give as much information as I can uh, while I'm going through it. Cause you know, as time passed by, years pass by, I'm gonna probably be like, I don't remember or something like that. So I did send them a picture of it and I did see like little micro scabs uh, in it, like where the little micro bumps were, they were like scabs. So I was like, okay, this is the scabbing part that the internet was talking about it go through so many phases um so then what's the scab um now as far as in my head with the lumps i never saw the lumps but if i was to like put my hand on it i would feel the lumps and so that's how i know i had lumps in my head also this gland was huge it was swollen you couldn't really see it unless you looked hard but this gland was swollen and this gland was swollen so i knew that i had to get to urgent care, a medical professional. Like when those glands swell, I know something is wrong. Um, but yeah, so back to that, it did the scabby thing. And then, uh, no, I think the next update, yeah, was just this, the little uh, crusting. That's why I'm trying to be careful what I say because scabbing and crusting is two different things. Um, I had a little one right here. It uh, crusted and now as you can see, it's gone away. This whole top of my head, I have not um, washed it with a face wash. I've just been cleaning it with water, then taking a cotton ball and I put alcohol, I put alcohol on it and just dabbed it to like keep it clean and disinfected as good as I can. I didn't want to put any soap on it. I didn't want to scrub it or nothing like that. Today, since it's crusting, I got in the shower. I actually had my hair straight. It was so cute. I was trying to look cute for y'all on the camera, but everything happened. So, oh, let me tell you about that too. So since my hair was straight and y'all know I'm natural, with uh taking the Tylenol and um sweating and sleeping on because I didn't sleep with a bonnet on because I was afraid of spreading anything. So my roots 
was like poofy and like you know how your hair, um your natural hair gets like wet and if you don't comb it it's like packed to the scalp so the ends was straight but the roots was packed to the scalp it was a mess y'all it was a mess hey star <laughs> but i didn't wash my hair so it was a mess but today i decided i was gonna wash my hair because i feel like i'm better now they say i'm not contagious now since i got the crust in so uh, I washed my hair, it's back like this. It was so cute though. I don't know if I took a picture or not. If I did, I'll let y'all see. But anyway, um, my hair grew too, y'all, yeah. But anyway, <laughs> yeah, um, so I just washed it. And I didn't even really like get into it good like I wanted to, because like I said, this part is still kind of like a sore to a certain extent. Like the pain comes and goes. So when that's good, I'll really get in and, you know, get burnt. Today, I just um, put some shampoo on it and just like worked it in really gently. Like kind of like how gentle you would be with like a baby's head. How gentle you would be with a baby's head. Sorry, again, tongue twisted. That's how it was. And then I put the conditioner on it. They say use a mild conditioner. I don't know. So I had just got some, uh, the cheap little suave, uh, I think it's like a strawberry smoothie or something like that. Shampoo and conditioner. I don't know. So I used that on my hair. I didn't put anything in it just yet. Um, I have a spray conditioner that I'm gonna put in too, just to keep my hair moisturized. But I'm trying not to do too much to it until I'm really in the clear, because I don't want to go through all this hard work and then I'm left with marks or something like that. I'm trying to avoid marks or anything like that. Um, yeah, that's <laughs> how my my New Year's going. I'm I'm alive though. I'm alive. I'm, I'm healthy. I'm gonna get healthier. You know, I don't know. It's so whole thing. They say that uh, when your immune system is low, that's when you get the shingles. So, child, I gotta work on that health a whole lot more. A whole lot more. But, um, I'm alive. It's a good new year. Okay, we, we, you know, I gotta do better with the health. You know, that's just, it's just let me, you know, put on notice. It's just putting me on notice that, you know, I think I'm doing good with my health, but I know I could do better. So, make sure that I Definitely get it together. I definitely got to start on that garden, okay? <laughs> I'm not playing no games. Definitely going to start. And then my loving husband, he's been juicing like crazy the past couple of months. And he has juiced me some things that I never thought I would have had before. I don't like kale. He put kale in the juice. Uh, I don't think I ever had beets before. And he's been doing beets too. So he put beets in it. <laughs> okay. And so, um, yeah, he's been putting that in my juices, which... Has been, I feel like that has helped my immune system to a great extent. And he knows that I, uh, I'm very particular about the way things smell and taste. So he has been putting uh, oranges, lemons, pineapples, things like that in it to make it taste good. And I honestly can't taste the kale or the um, beets or anything like that. It tastes really good, y'all. This thing on my head. But anyway, you know, it's, it's normal. I'm not even going to lie. When I found out the news... Um, I was so embarrassed. I I don't know why. Because I know it's like, you know, if you had chicken pox, you're probably going to have it. But I was just so embarrassed. And I texted my family like, y'all, I'm embarrassed to see. Like, I got shingles, you know. I was so embarrassed. But, you know, uh, I don't want it to be embarrassing, you know. Because if it happens, you know, it happens. It's, you know. I don't want you to be embarrassed or ashamed if you do get it. I hope you don't. But if you do, I don't want you to feel some type of weight, you know. Um, but yeah, so that I believe helped me out a lot. Um, also some lysine. I, ooh, huh? <laughs> Hold on, y'all. Hold on. <laughs> she had to tell me a, a funny story, but, um, what was I talking about? What else am I talking about juicing? But yeah, lysine, excuse me. Um, I started taking some lysine too. And they say that that's supposed to help with uh, the nerves being affected and um, the virus multiplying. Um, what else did I take? I took my usual multivitamins, B12, stuff like that. Um, also, I want to start focusing on uh, getting my vitamins from the food um but yeah okay so anyway and so the last update i'm gonna give y'all so grocery hauls i know i said that i was gonna only do grocery hauls on this channel but 
I feel like when I, I'm sorry, I made that face. <laughs> but I feel like when I first started doing grocery hauls on this channel, um, the kids were in homeschool. So it was easy for me to spend $800 on food and we eat it all and no waste and stuff like that. But now since the kids are back in school, um, I just feel like we don't need to spend that much money. So the grocery hauls, even though we do grocery hauls like once or twice a month, um, there's sometimes where we do grocery hauls where the kids want to put it up. There's sometimes where, um, honestly, I don't feel like putting it on the table, talking through it and then putting it up. There's sometimes where I'm just honestly too busy. So I don't feel like putting it up and taking it back out to film it to put it back up. I've never done that because <laughs> I just feel like that's a lot of work. So I am going to do the cleaning videos and the grocery hauls on this channel i know i'm wishy-washy yeah i'm sorry i'm trying to find myself on youtube and then again i'm kind of also like feeling some type of way too because all the cleaning videos well most the majority of the cleaning videos for the past three years are gone and i you know how to be like don't put none on the internet because it stays there forever i even try googling the videos to see if i could find them so i can re-upload them or even just keep for myself and i cannot find them so that is heartbreaking, but um, yeah, I'm gonna I'm do it as I think cleaning, decorating, and grocery hauls. Because, like I said, when I initially started doing grocery hauls, we was getting we, you know, it's easy to spend so much money on food when you're constantly eating it and you need to replace it and all. But with the kids going to school, and sometimes they pay for lunch at school, sometimes they bring their lunch to school, sometimes um. I don't know, it's just, it's just we don't spend that much money. And then also with the extracurricular activities, uh, we might stop and get something, or we might stop by a family member's house and eat dinner and spend time over there and then come back home. It's so many different things. So for me to spend $800 a week on groceries, it's just going to be a waste. So yeah, we gonna I'm still going to do the grocery hauls, but we just, we don't get food that often. I feel like to do $800 every week and even $300 every week I just feel like I don't know sometimes I'm just I'm just too busy to do just a dedicated grocery haul channel so it's gonna still be the cleaning it's not gonna do the vlogs the vlogs are gonna be on the Kiana G vlogs but it's still gonna be cleaning motherhood and grocery hauls so that's my update to this channel new year um situation um I'm not contagious anymore, so I'm definitely gonna start cleaning up. I did start undecorating for Christmas, but I still have a few things up. We still have our large tree. We gotta get rid of the tree out. Me and my husband, we just getting <laughs> too old. I know I just said I'm not I know I just said I'm not that old, but when it comes to that 15 foot tree, we just getting too old. And I just would rather uh donate the tree. Um my sister said I could donate to a church, so I might just donate it to a church. And we just might get like a little eight foot, nine foot tree or something like that. And then um, that way it's something that I could put up if I want to. I don't have to wait around for him to put it up. And I'm, I'm just not into the whole paying somebody to come into my house to put the tree up. Like, so yeah, we're definitely going to be switching out the tree. Um... But yeah, I got to take down those ornaments, the ribbons, and then the trees, and then put up the pillows that I have like on the sofa. And I believe that is all the Christmas undecorating that I have to do. Um, I have a few of the containers down, so I got to put those back up on the shelf, organize them better. We have Mardi Gras coming up. I said that I was going to possibly keep the trees up and decorate them with Mardi Gras decoration because in the stores down here, they have... Um, Mardi Gras ornaments and ribbons and stuff like that. So I said I might, I'm sorry y'all for messing up my nose. I said I might decorate the kids trees, the uh, six foot trees. I might decorate those and like get some reefs. But I think all the Mardi, the good ones, the cute ones, <laughs> the Mardi Gras, re Mardi Gras reefs are uh, all sold out in the garland. Stop talking with chance, Kiana. So <laughs> I don't know if we're going to decorate for um, Mardi Gras. Mardi Gras is February 13th. Valentine's Day is the 14th. Um, I feel like it will flow good though because if I do Mardi Gras decoration, then take it down and put up some Valentine's Day decoration, you can kind of flow into the spring decorating with Valentine's, I feel like, because 
Valentine's Day is like love and flowers and spring is love and flowers too. So like as long as I feel like I stick with the, the pinks, reds and whites, and then for spring, I'm sorry, I'm looking away. But for the spring, I can just add in like some maybe yellows and like blues and stuff like that. So it can like flow, you know, pretty nicely. Um, but yeah, that's all I have updated. Yeah, I have been sick. So I have been limiting my uh, access throughout the house. I haven't been touching too much. Um, just to make sure I'm not spreading to anybody. So the house is a mess. Plenty of grocery, vi I mean, not grocery videos, child, cleaning videos, grocery too, you gotta get groceries. But plenty of um, cleaning videos are definitely coming up really, really soon because I have to do regular cleaning plus spring cleaning. Um, I gotta finish up the baseboards and the blinds, what I started. So that's gonna be probably all mixed in with the uh, spring. I keep talking with my hands, y'all. Just, just forgive me for talking with my hands. I got coffee too, y'all. I haven't had coffee since I've been sick, so, ooh. The, it's the taste. It's the taste. It's not even for like the caffeine. It's the taste. And don't worry, y'all. It's just I got probably like this much coffee, this much creamer, and then this much water. So it's not. I'm not gonna be going crazy. But oh, I just missed. I don't know. I just miss having a coffee. Um, but yeah. So <laughs> I be everywhere, y'all. <laughs> I'm trying to be natural with it, but like I just I just find myself just laughing. I don't know y'all. But anyway, <laughs> um, I'm going to yeah, definitely have to do a lot of cleaning uh with the kids, of course. I'm not about to clean this up by myself because I didn't do this by myself. And this is I'm not about to come off being sick to clean this house up. The house is crazy. Okay, the house is crazy. But um, me and the kids, we go get in here, the hubby too. Mm. We're gonna make the house decent and nice and you know good and also i have to figure out what are my stress factors because that is also one of the things with the shingles like it just it just makes me really um think in a different perspective of what is going on in my life because if i'm gonna have that then it's something with the immune system they say with the stress it's so many things so i definitely gotta fix my life like i gotta fix my life because i feel like if i'm getting that then the the route that it's going i'm not interested in it. i'm not interested in that route i'm trying to turn it around okay so we're going to do some cleanup today it's beautiful it is sunny i do have this filter because i want to feel confident on this platform of internet <laughs> I, i'm okay with this this look crazy but i'm okay with this and uh yeah i'm gonna be cleaning up and putting those videos out really really soon yeah so i hope y'all enjoyed this video i know it's been a minute since i talked to y'all um but yeah thank y'all so much for being here with me for sending to my little my little talk and my little ranting and catching up and all that good stuff i appreciate y'all i love y'all i hope y'all have a blessed and prosperous and wonderful and awesome year this year 2024 is going to be amazing y'all and thank y'all so much for being here with me y'all and so you'll see me in my next one bye y'all